I think that's a great plan, Ryan. Thank you for that. Hey, it is full speed ahead to the big holidays, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah. It's time when it's easy to get caught up in the excitement of buying costumes and decorations and gifts, but not just for kids, for everyone on our list. Here with tips with saving money, when you shop is our friend Howard Schwartz, the Executive Communications Director from the Connecticut Better Business Bureau. Hello there. Hello and welcome back. Thank you. It's great to be here. So I always say as soon as Halloween comes, it is the holiday season. It's shopping starts. It gets a little chaotic. No, oh, even a month before that. So we've got Halloween. We've yes. got Thanksgiving. Then we end up with Hanukkah, Christmas, anything in between. That's true. And it basically won't stop between now and the end of the year and even continue. But the festive holiday ads and the promos would have us believe this is the absolutely best time to get the best prices. Now, is it if we do this early? Well, it depends. In some, <laughs> some cases, it is a good idea. But let's remember the retailers are using those discounts to get us into the store, to mm -hmm. lure us to look at other things, hopefully pick up something that's got a larger profit margin for them. Add to your Christmas list, obviously, exactly. right? Exactly. All right, so here are some tips to help us stay on track this season. Number one, you say resist temptation. Little bit easier said than done, Howard. Oh, it's a lot easier said than done. <laughs> so uh, when we're talking about resisting temptation, there is nothing necessarily bad about last-minute purchases and impulse buys. However, you have to stick to your budget and save the small things for last. Okay. You know, we um, we tend to be lured. Many many consumers don't have any sort of budget. We're lured by the uh, great discounts. We're mm -hmm. very upset when that bill comes towards the end of the year or January. Right. And by the way, you can get some of your best deals at the end of December or the early of January. Well, that's January. true. If you're not going to see relatives till after the holiday, buy the gifts when they go on sale, right? Exactly. Not a good deal. All right, so you're talking about budgets. Obviously, you want to set a budget and stick to it. You have to make a list, Teresa, of the people who you really want to buy gifts for okay. and then set a dollar amount for each one because it's got to match not only your needs but your budget. So we're talking about uh, your teachers for your kids. Mm -hmm. We're talking about friends, neighbors, relatives. And don't forget the stock, stocking stuffers. You have to take those into account as well. It adds up. <laughs> you bet it adds up, along with dinners, transportation, and so on. Yeah, a price matching. Now, what is this about? This is wonderful. Cons uh, retailers have been doing this for some time because mm -hmm. they understand the power of the internet and our smartphones. They will often match or beat a competitor's price oh. with some uh, restrictions. For example, they will not match a going out of uh, uh, going out of business sale nor a clearance item. But that being said, there are all sorts of good things you can get. And shop online, see what the prices are like, go into the store and try and negotiate. They'll often help you out. You can negotiate at times? Depends on the store, depends, depends on, the store. The, okay. on the sales as well. There you go. All right, hidden costs. Hidden costs, wrapping, gift supplies, cards, ah. gasoline, food once again. And all of these things, again, add up. We don't factor them in, and this can add up to 50 maybe $100 worth of extra things. That's true. So, there's nothing wrong with a potluck dinner or having a Secret Santa event. And um, that's valued by people as well. That kind of goes along with the last tip here. Consider alternatives to buying in the stores, right? That's right. Arts and crafts, people enjoy those types of things. Have people over for a potluck dinner or, again, a secret Santa. But you don't have to spend a lot of money to entertain. And just remember, uh, hopefully you'll be going out to other people's homes to be entertained and you'll get some food. That's true. Christmas parties, right? And you, handmade gifts are great. Everyone likes that. They're original. Right. Um, and we could find some more information on the Better Business Bureau website. That's right. BBB.org forward slash Connecticut. And we'd love to hear from people. All right. Now, have you started your Christmas, your holiday shopping? I'm taking the fifth on that. <laughs> <laughs> some people get it all done early. I'm not. I'm one, right to the last minute. Me too. Not because of the discounts necessarily but because I want to do that budget. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Howard, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. All right, coming up, we'll take a look at